told you several stories this week of uh, people fighting back against would be thieves in Southeast Texas. In the last day, we have at least four instances of this happening. Right now, police are looking for the robber who they say shot and killed a bystander that intervened. That happened last night on Long Point Drive, Long Point near Woodvine in the Spring Branch area. And this comes as officers investigate a disabled veteran shot and wounded a person who allegedly tried to rob him at a metro headquarters in downtown. A man was shot and killed there by a food truck worker after he allegedly tried to shoot through the food truck window and a former Baytown officer ended up in the hospital after getting into a shootout with an alleged burglar who also was taken to the hospital. ABC 13's Liliana Pearson is joining us live from the newsroom tonight. Yeah, and she spoke to a lawyer who breaks down what self-defense is and when it really is justified, Liliana. Yeah, I did. And self-defense, it seems pretty self-explanatory. It's when you protect yourself from somebody that might be trying to hurt you. But I'm told that it's what you do after you protect yourself that can play a part in determining if it was justified. We saw it first on Monday night. I was on the way home. A disabled veteran says that he pulled out a gun and shot at an alleged robber who tried to steal his bag. When he took off, I grabbed my pistol and... On the chair started then on Tuesday, a food truck worker shot and killed a man she claimed tried to shoot into the truck window. They open this because the mom knows how to cook and we just try to make, they just try to make an honest living. Lawyer Matthew Sharp says self-defense is vital. If someone's trying to kill you or rob you, you don't have to sit there and, and, and accept that outcome for yourself. But it has to be justified. So once you have defended yourself, there are a few things you should do if you are safe and able to first call police second if you're in a safe place stay there every self-defense case there's a there's a judgment call that somebody has to make whether it's the district attorney the police a jury later on and if you if you run away and you hide and you attempt to conceal what it is that you've done it, it doesn't look it, it looks less and less like you were acting in self-defense evidence will be collected and the case will move through the legal system to ensure that there was good reason you used force against another person. If you were truly in fear for your life and you um, have used deadly force or, or non-deadly force to defend yourself, um, I would advise you to contact the police. And in those two examples that I gave you, guns were used in the alleged self-defense. And Sharp reminds us that here in the state of Texas, you can carry a gun without a permit so long as you are over the age of 21 and you have no felonies. I'm Liliana Pearson, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Thank you.